Hello and welcome to the inside of my motorhome. It is minus 11 degrees outside, it's 18 degrees inside, so for the moment I'm okay. Very cold day in February. Now, the commonest question I get on my uh, channel is how much does it cost? The second commonest question is when will it be available in America? And that's a good question because obviously I'm filming European vehicles. If you're watching my channel, then you're probably thinking that uh, yes, I'd like to own a vehicle like this, but I live in California and so how can I get one? Now, there was hope uh, that uh, people in North America would be able to get uh, European vehicles when Heimer acquired Road Trek and wanted to expand into North America. Unfortunately, this didn't work out. And now, what was then Heimer is now Rapido. Now, one of the Rapido brands, which is Westphalia, will soon be available in North America as I understand it, though of course things can change. Two years ago, Thor Industries acquired the German Heimer and this now brings hope for Americans that they will be able to get vehicles initially of the Heimer brand and possibly later also of other brands which belong to the group. So you've got Heimer as a group and Heimer as the name of the, a brand. Heimer started acquiring all these other brands en route. However, it hasn't quite worked out again this time though. Uh, the problem was not related to business, but it was related to COVID-19. So in 2020, uh, certainly from uh, March, uh, travel between Germany and uh, the United States has been extremely difficult. Uh, there's also been pro other problems such as maintaining supply chains where this has been one of the biggest problems particularly if you're unable to get for example the base vehicles because uh, the Ducato or the Mercedes factories are uh, closed and certainly can't get many of the parts because the people manufacturing uh, for everything from the fittings, the toilets, the uh, um, furnishings, whatever, uh, they're on lockdown. I've seen that myself in my travels around. So this has really put everything back, which is a, uh, it's a pity. And not only that, this year, or last year I should say now, 2020 was a record year. And I shall come back to that. Anyway, you don't really want to look at me whilst I'm talking. Let's have some vans up and you can look at them instead. The topics that the companies really want to consider for uh, 2021 or at least as soon as the pandemic's over I should say are uh, things such as autonomous driving alternative power trains connected connected travel and they're going to address these things on a global basis and implement them on both sides of the Atlantic now the question of course is what about uh, American brands in Europe and vice versa so uh, Martin Brandt said uh, to implement complex projects in working groups or workshops people need to be able to get together in person to overcome time differences. That won't be possible until we can travel again. We're convinced that in the best, we're in the best possible shape to progress uh, the current boom in our sector and lead caravanning into a sustainable and connected future. So that means that if you're an American wanting a Heimer or European wanting a, an Airstream, then you're going to have to wait. So what about sales uh, since the takeover? Well, um, in Western Europe, uh, there were 230,000 vehicle sales in 2020. That's a 10.8% increase compared with the uh, already record-breaking year of 2019. Uh, having said that, uh, caravan registrations have declined slightly, uh, so clearly it's in uh, motorhomes and camper vans, and so the motorized recreational vehicles grew in 2020 in Europe by 20%. Now, let's have a look at the camper van sector, where 65,000 
uh, camper vans entered the market. That's 45% more than in the previous year. So uh, compact vehicles are clearly trending strongly. And so I think this is possibly uh, due in part to people thinking that this is a good start. Uh, it could also be that um, if you're going to get one vehicle then you get a camper van because obviously you can't really use a eight and a half meter for example a motorhome to travel to work in. Maybe you can but possibly can't. And I think if anything the, uh, the trend is going to be in uh, smaller uh, vehicles. Now if I can take Germany because I've got this, the statistics for Germany here right in front of me. Uh, registrations grew by 32.5% to around 107,000 units in 2020 and uh, camper vans grew uh, by 64% in Germany to 37,000 vehicles registered. <laughs> now of course the numbers uh, which I'm talking about here are comparatively uh, small when we talk of uh, cars I mean it's it's really very it's tiny but um, the RV sector at the moment is working flat out to produce as many vehicles as it can and as a result um, I think that uh, waiting lists um, will get longer but not as longer as long as they could have been if they were working the same ways they were working two years ago uh, there's really a huge amount of demand uh, the downside of course is this is that in three or four years possibly when I'm be about ready to upgrade my own van uh, prices will drop uh, I think there's people discovered that they don't really like doing this and that's why I say it to everybody rent first remember this rent first don't buy a an RV you rent it okay and I've done plenty of stories on that well thanks very much for listening that's a little bit of analysis I hope that wasn't too disjointed for you and uh, I haven't given you the answer to the question, which was, when will it be available? But you know the excuse. Now, the excuse was the pandemic. Before the pandemic, there was uh, another excuse. Once the pandemic ends, I have to come up with a different excuse. So why don't you write some of your excuses down below, well, consider them, and maybe if there's three good excuses, then we could use one each year for three years. But anyway, Get your excuses down below and your comments down below. Thanks very much for listening and all the best from central Poland, where I am. And it looks like I'm going to be for some considerable time until this current situation ends. All the best. <laughs>